value has been made here through the years. And now we add more as it's the site for this championship fight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Rusher's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. Alexander's making his way to the ring right now. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Alexander. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Alexander's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Carries that punch intended for the head. Solid left hook, right uppercut combination to the head. Rusher's combination punching is working well here. Alexander's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. A stabbing right hand by Alexander. Blocks that punch. Rusher's nailed by a shot upstairs. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Good effective work with that straight right hand. An accurate left by Crusher. Now committing to that jab straight hand and works out. with a left hand. Well struck, solid combination by Crusher. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Keep going. Doing great. Well, let's keep working out there, right? Don't see it. Here we go. Round two is underway. Good step back. Counter punch there. Beautiful. Stop. Keep your hands up. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Alexander's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Rusher's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combo. Alexander's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Crusher's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. And an excellent uppercut by Alexander. Crusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Non-stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Zones in on that overhand right. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Crusher's on the bad end of an uppercut. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Crusher's mouth is bleeding badly. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Alexander. And we come to the end of Rapture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. 
Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or oh, he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yeah. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Good right hand by Crusher. Showing you some defense there with the block. Oh, a big shot. The hook lands to the body. Crusher's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Great work offensively landing that combination by Crusher. Blocks away that headshot. Crusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Alexander's got to be really careful here, Teddy. That eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, you can't see. And that's what the referee's going to be looking for. Crusher's defense is paying off now. He comes with the straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Crusher's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Fine looking right hand by Alexander. And that's the end of round three. It's the end of round three. Nice, nice, good work. I want to see you double up that jab. Okay? I want to see you double up that. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Crusher. Good looking combo by Alexander. Alexander's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Side to side, move your head. Crusher's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Oh, what an exchange. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Super two-punch combo by Crusher. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Crusher. For the well-being of their fighter, his corner may need to stop this fight. Yeah, the well-being of now and tomorrow, because this is the kind of beating that's going to impact him tomorrow, take his confidence away. Maybe never be the same fighter if they don't stop it at the right time. Crusher's right hand scores well that time. Alexander's found exactly what he likes on the inside, and it is that power punch of choice, the uppercut. Now what he has to do is add something to it. It picks the head up, puts something on top, and finishes the job. Well-placed counter punch by Crusher. And that's the end of round four. As he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor's going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Keep working the body. Good, clean.
Big shot returning fire. Well done by Alexander. Boy, that'll put a smile on a trainer's face, landing a flush, strong hook by Crusher. Comes right back with some offense of his own. One, two, one, two. Alexander's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And now they're trading blows. Alexander's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Good return fire that time. Rusher's putting forth a great combination there. And that's the end of round five. Round five. Completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to fool around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. a big uppercut that just crashed home. Good combination to the body. Did you see that? Oh boy, that right hand got right to him and put him down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alexander's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. That's a well-placed hook by Crusher. Crusher's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Fires right back at him. spot right here. He's going to be swallowing blood. You can see blood coming from his mouth and that could really cut his wind. Come on. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to. So as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight and we are underway with a new round. Alexander's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Come on, kid. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Oh, that's got to hurt. A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent feels Three. like he's in a rainstorm. Alexander's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Crusher's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. 
Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Crusher. It's tough to assess, but Crusher's cut may look worse than it actually is. I mean, all the blood is spraying everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's exactly... And bang, and away he goes. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Wow, he gets up again after another devastating knockdown. I don't know how much more of this he can take. You know, he got up a little too fast, I think. He should have probably taken an eight count there. He's not on steady legs. Move your head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, big shot there. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Seven, eight, nine. Alexander's night could soon be over. Yes, he got up from that knockdown, but can he survive? Good block by Crusher. Crusher's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. And this round comes to an end. That was fucking amazing. Crusher's in a tough spot right here. It's not just that he trails on your scorecard as we begin round number eight. It's that he's damaged goods as it is. Well, you said it very well, so it's not just about tonight. It's about tomorrow and many other nights. Whether or not you let him keep going, if you damage him. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, he goes down again. He's going to be caught the elevator fight up and down all night. Stopping this fight. Rusher's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout.